So, um, so the irony of the entire thing was really comical. Uh, you got this, this uh, adult male, uh, or you got one male saying to another male, well, I'm thinking it might be, he might be the father, saying to his son-in-law, oh yeah, you know, someone will steal your car. When, um, in fact, um, the, the guy that's married to his daughter is a criminal. His daughter knows all about the crimes. She knows all about him breaking into our computers, all about the um, stuff he's doing for the church, um, the crimes. I'm, I'm certain. I'm not assuming anything. I'm certain that he does these with the blessing of the church, with the Anglican church, with the blessing um, and uh, with the design exactly to do this. And I think that the um, this is crazy that um, there could be so much deception. So is the father-in-law really deceived? I mean, is um, McFooley, does he really think like he's pulling the wool over this guy's eyes? Is he trying to do that? Is that what the daughter's trying to do? Does the father-in-law know anything about this? So why the game? Well, is, well, I guess there's several possibilities. Maybe they're trying to, maybe they know that I'll open up the door because I always open up the door. And uh, I don't like people standing there. So if there's people standing out there, I'm going to open the door and, you know, let them know that I don't appreciate it. Uh, so maybe they want me to think like his door is unlocked. Maybe they want me to catch, catch me on the camera going into it. Maybe they assume I'm a criminal and they want, they think I want revenge on this little prick. Well, all these things are plausible because I've seen them do it. I've seen them over and over and over. And by them, I mean Anglican church members and the more theological Bible students here at Sydney, Australia. I've seen them over and over and over manipulate you in exactly that way. Set you up in a situation to either one, to try to make you angry so that you look uh, like an aggressive, angry, scared person. They manipulate you to do that. They push you, they pick you, they, they prick you, they, they annoy you, they, they find out what annoys you and then they do it over and over and over. Uh, or they'll actually like, physically get in your face and they'll follow you around or they'll um uh or they'll um you know uh be aggressive to you in a passive aggressive way and they've done all this all this stuff they've done to us and then you turn around and you say it and they say oh you're crazy we were just going for a walk it just happened to be that we went in the same direction you were so i mean and the thing is is they're the most they're the most deceptive people and yet they don't trust anybody they don't trust anyone and they live by a culture of fear everybody's against them it's not because they're assholes people don't like them in their view people don't like them because they're doing the work of god well in reality people don't like you because you're an asshole because you're not a nice person because you're corrupt and because you hurt people so I thought it was really ironic that this old guy was talking to this young guy and saying, you know, be careful, there's bad people out there, when in fact he's, the, the young guy, McFool Flea, is the bad person. He's the flea. He's the tick. He's the biter. He's the parasite. And, um, and it, 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 it's uh, really um, disturbing that everybody allows him to get away with this and that he's been given a culture to thrive in. The church gives him a place to thrive and um, and the church cultivates um, this idea of fear to give him a purpose this, the church cultivates this fear us and them attitude and then he's justified in his um, computer crimes well we have to know what they're doing we have to get in their computers we have to get in their surveillance systems I put a surveillance system to protect myself and he gets into it how can you do that you can't do that unless you have like government assistance there's no way that he knew how to do that from the beginning without some help. So I'm so now we're at the point where they got into our surveillance system. Now, now um, uh, it really looks a lot to me like the government's involved. So now it looks like we have a church state thing happening here, where we have an Anglican church involved with the Australian government. And um, I, heaven knows what they're going to do with this this crazy power. Uh, this attack that I've seen, which I call in Senra, is horrible. Remote attack to any uh, area of machine. So it was funny, and uh, the whole situation in like it only took a few minutes, but um, it kind of wraps up everything that goes on here at One Two Six Croydon. 
wraps up everything that I've seen in the Anglican Church and, and the deceptions and the, and the social manipulations and the, and uh, the counter social manipulations. And then you've got guys out there tweeting and with their social man, uh, media manipulating people. And then you've got guys on IRC manipulating people and, and they're all with the church. You can smell it. After you've hung out with these people a while, you can just Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Are you are you are you an Anglican? You can just smell it. Um, it's really, really disturbing how much power these people. It's really disturbing what they're, what it looks to me. All the evidence looks to me like they're, they have a certain agenda and they're pushing that in society. And as far as I can see, their agenda here at One Two Six has been to con completely control our. Um, 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 communications and computers and uh, um, the manipulation outside tonight whether it was an accidental manipulation manipulation or like a manufactured manipulation it really doesn't matter it's still a manipulation he's being he's manipulating he's constantly manipulating whether he know whether the old man knows that he's being manipulated or not is another question I'd have to ask him but even if I did ask him that he would defend his his son-in-law brand new baby coming into the world he's not going to say no he's not going to stop and think oh yeah maybe you got a point no he's going to protect the kid and uh it'll keep going on and that's what McFoolfully does he hides he hides in the church and he hides behind the power of the church and then he has he's got a he's got a few skills there and he that's what he does he he offers the church his services and the church lets him do what he wants to do lets him be a criminal lets him be a little psycho criminal and they cover up for him. 